Cryptocurrencies have had a rough start to the year. By the time January drew to a close, Bitcoin had lost about 20% in value year to date and Ethereum and Binance Coin dropped about 30% and 25% respectively in that period, despite a late surge higher. These are the three biggest cryptocurrencies in circulation by market capitalization, not counting the stablecoin Tether, which is tied to the US dollar. This isn't the first time crypto has taken a big dive. From mid-May to mid-July 2021, cryptos went through another big drop, and Bitcoin fell more than 4-5%. to Despite the volatility, many investors are still interested in cryptocurrencies. According to several industry experts, as crypto adoption increases, it'll become more stable. Until then, however, investors may want to know what to look for so they don't get burned by crypto crashes. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Metaverse Economy Channel. If you're one of those investors wondering why cryptocurrencies crash, we have six reasons why and a guide on what you can do to protect yourself. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to catch more videos like this. So why do cryptocurrencies crash? 1. Crypto investors taking on too much leverage. Crypto data firm CryptoQuant's Bitcoin leverage ratio hit all-time highs in early January, meaning more investors are taking on risk in the crypto space. Just like in traditional markets, crypto investors will often use debt to finance purchases of futures. This can be a way for miners to hedge against future price drops in the coins they're mining. These amounts of leverage could spell volatility in the near term for cryptocurrencies. As with any asset class, price declines could cause liquidation of long-term positions. Then, as prices drop and futures holders begin liquidating their positions, prices could fall even further. It's a cycle similar to what happened to the stock market in 1929 and 2008. But these kinds of crashes are particularly dangerous for markets like crypto that don't have much liquidity. 2. Lack of liquidity in cryptocurrency markets The biggest problem the crypto markets face when leveraged investors liquidate a large portion of their assets is the overall liquidity of the markets. Unlike in the stock market, there aren't always a bunch of buyers waiting to snatch up unloaded coins. This is part of the reason why crashes tend to occur over weekends for crypto. There are fewer investors tuned in to buy when a bunch of coins are sold. This is why big institutions can't trade small coins. They wind up upsetting the markets. For example, when a whale, an investor who holds a large position of any given asset, sells significant amounts of crypto, it can flood the market. The coins simply funnel into the broader market and leave a glut of supply with limited demand. 3. Cryptocurrency Regulation When China banned crypto mining in June 2021, miners had to move to other jurisdictions that were more miner-friendly. The implications for crypto investors were that they saw a significant decline in the network hash rate. In the crypto world, a hash rate is the number of calculations that can be performed per second. These calculations are what allow the miners to produce the coins they're mining, and they affect a coin's price. When prices decline, the hash rate declines. It's been theorized that the opposite holds true as well. This is often because miners are paid in cryptocurrency. But this also means that when governments clamp down on mining through regulations, the overall price of cryptos can decline. 4. Crypto security breaches causing fear. Blockchain and network security are other factors that could cause a crypto crash. This kind of crash would unfold similarly to regulatory disruptions from government actors. For example, if it appeared that there was a security flaw in Bitcoin, that would affect the desire to mine it, which could affect the hash rate and overall price. Unlike with stocks, which are supported by underlying assets, the value of most cryptocurrencies is driven purely by investor sentiment. The challenge for investors who wish to hold cryptocurrency is to find those that have limited supply and enduring appeal. 5. Crypto Influencers Causing Volatility When it comes to sentiment, cryptocurrency investors need to keep in mind that crypto advocates and key influencers can tweet and cause an inflow of capital. Obviously, we've seen this happen with Elon Musk's support of Dogecoin. Tweeting can have the opposite effect as well. This is due to the value of this asset class being based on investor sentiment and to crypto's lack of liquidity. For investors, a possible antidote to this problem is stablecoins. Traders can use this type of coin and easily move in and out of other crypto positions as the market shifts. 6. Cryptocurrency Correlations with the Stock Market Part of the beauty of crypto is that it should be an uncorrelated asset. In other words, it should float freely, divorced from the rest of the market. But that's not always the case. Crypto markets have become more intertwined with traditional markets due to traditional adoption over the past few years. Crypto has a high correlation to the stock market in some people's view. Therefore, the world's newest hedge against interest rates and inflation may be more correlated to the overall markets than early adopters hoped. This means that market fluctuations in the stock market could spell problems for the value of cryptocurrencies. 
If you're a crypto investor, these dramatic price drops can be nerve-wracking, especially when they're accompanied by doom and gloom headlines. But even if this is the start of a prolonged period of low prices, that doesn't mean it's game over for crypto. Here are four things you should do to protect yourself from crypto crashes. 1. Don't panic. The desire to panic sell or panic buy because you think crypto is on sale is understandable. Nobody wants to see the value of their investments have, and it is tempting to cut your losses and look for other opportunities. But if you do this, you'd be locking in what you've lost. The market could pick up again next week, and if you sold your crypto, you won't benefit. It is true this is a relatively new and untested market, but so far the market has always come back. Now, as to panic buying, you may think now is a good time to buy the dip, but don't rush into that decision. Look at what's going on in the market, and make sure you do your due diligence on each crypto. Sometimes the rush to get a bargain causes people to skip the normal research they do on a particular coin or token. Most of all, only invest money you can afford to lose. Prices may go down more and you don't want to be left shorthanded if they do. 2. Look at the bigger picture. There's a lot of commentary about why crypto is crashing. But that shouldn't be your main focus. The question you need to answer, how much do these factors impact your long-term view of your cryptocurrency investments? The Fed moving to regulate cryptocurrency mean the wider economic climate may be risk-averse for the near term and we may not see the huge leaps we saw in 2021. But if your original investment thesis holds, then you should hold on as well. Regulation is a big issue, especially in the short term. Governments around the world may impose stricter rules on how cryptocurrencies can operate, and some countries could follow China's lead and ban crypto altogether. In the long term, this could build investor confidence and push some of the bad actors out of the space, but it could also cause additional short-term pain. 3. Know that volatility is normal. Whether it's the stock market or the crypto market, there will always be downturns. More so with cryptocurrency, as it is a volatile and high-risk investment. The flip side of these significant drops is the incredible gains that certain cryptocurrencies have produced. But the high level of risk is why it is important to make sure it only represents a small part of your portfolio and that you only invest money you can afford to lose. Bitcoin has halved in value several times since it launched, but it's also gained in value almost every year since its inception. Look at the price charts for Bitcoin and the crypto industry to help put this latest drop into perspective. 4. Make a plan. Now that you've fully evaluated what's going on in the market, you're in a better position to decide what to do next. Bear in mind a buy and hold investment strategy is often the best way to build long-term wealth. However, it might be that you've lost confidence in crypto and don't feel it is a good long-term bet. Or perhaps this latest price drop has caused you a lot of sleepless nights and made you aware volatile crypto investments are not for you. If this is the case, you might want to think about the best way to exit your positions. But this is not a decision to take lightly, and it's usually best not to sell while prices are at the lowest they've been in six months. Instead, consider waiting for them to recover and then sell. You might want to talk to a financial advisor about the best way to do this. On the other hand, you might decide you're still confident about cryptocurrencies long-term and hope Bitcoin will eventually go to $1 million. You may even decide to invest more money into crypto. What's key is that you're making an informed decision and you're not rushing into anything. The first time you experience a crypto crash, it can be bewildering. Take heart from the fact that these price slumps have happened before and keep your eyes on the long-term potential. We could still be in for a rough ride, but with a lot of ifs, blockchain technology could still transform the way we use money. Thanks for watching, and if you found this video useful, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe.